Why hello again. This is another video. This one is a special one. This is on the new Traintech smart screen. And that is what it looks like. I have got the unit at the moment. I am just waiting for the case to come. But I thought I'd just show you this and how, how to edit it. Right. So first thing is, is you get a manual with it. Four pages. It took me about two hours to work out how it operated with a few errors in the middle but it did get it to work and one of the things is is on the back is this what you've got there is you connect that one and that one to your pack your uh, train power a b and c are for switching and if you actually put something across the c and l it actually uh, resets the screens so that's, that's one thing, but it's a very delicate piece of equipment. So be very wary. Do not put any pressure on it. There's front glass screen and also electronics in it, and you don't want to damage it. So first of all, is when you turn it over, this is one particular screen, which or one page, which you really must get to understand. The F4 is for editing the screen. F5 is when you want to put a loco or switching or what it might be in and then you get that bit which will come up in a second so those are the function keys now one of the things is is you need something like this a controller with function keys that is how you actually set it up i've now also got it set up into my railmaster with a couple of messages in there so it, it works very well for that what also is you can actually do with this, you can actually put it into a train and forward and reverse, which is one of two of your ten screens. One way this this sign will say one thing, and when you reverse the train, it'll say another thing. You can also use the train tech sensors, tech sensors, they work as well with it. You've also you can actually use a push button switch like that on it it's all in this instruction so you just got to read it through carefully before you do anything just read it through carefully and what you've got down here is I say you've got a and b which is the direction of your train and then f1 will show you each one of those screens so you've actually got say you've got 10 screens in total but they say that is the that is the major one which is the page two which is that that one now the thing is also is when you're doing this you've got to think of what you're going to put on the screen it's only a small screen but this is the way i've done mine so each one of those function keys is a particular screen i've done there right i've got two left i haven't done two there for, in, for instance there so that's how uh, i've got that one so that is how so so what you've got to do is first of all this is the, the unit. Now this is this is going to, it's going to go away because it doesn't like. It's terrible to, to get to uh, get to. It's that small that he's getting the focusing on it. Earlier on it worked perfectly. There we are. It's uh, it's, I've got it this time. Right. So as I said, when I say four eight, well, it's function key. First of all, you turn it to. Uh, 55, which is the default one I've got here. You press the function button, or whichever you turn your functions on. You press 8, and you'll get that. And it's first of all, it tells you which is your program address and which is your clock address. Then you've got 4, which is editing the screen. 5 is when you want to put in a loco word. So if you press 5, then go find the loco one, which is F4. And then at the bottom of the screen, down, down at the bottom, on the right-hand corner, you'll see four digits. You put in the digits by the numbers, um, and that's as easy as that. So what we're going to do there, we're going to go to F4. That's that. Now then, function 5, if you notice just after it says edit message, it says A. If you press 5, it changes. Keep pressing it, and you do this. we we'll go to the last one, J. I press 6, which is that one. Now then, 4 is the one you're going to use for the numbers, or the letters. 
So what you've got, you go through, press 4 and you'll get an A. Keep pressing it until you get what you want. We're going to put leads in. All right. Do it slowly. Also, otherwise you'll miss it. Now, if you press 1, it then jumps you to 1. Now, you want E, so it's, this is number 4 again. There's E. If you press 5, it puts it in lowercase. 1 again. Press 4 again. Right, let's go back one. I need to go forward a bit. And just put that one as that. Go forward one. And I think it's this one. There we are. So you actually you can change it round if you want to. It's a D. So you just go. There's D. So we put in five, which does that. Press a space, and then you go to five. Go to this one, which is S, which is a long way through the, the alphabet. Your fingers start aching after you've done a few of these. But it's absolutely... So very get close to it there. Just press 5 again. That's leads. Now then, I'll put 1 there for a minute. Then what you can do is you can put the clock in and out. It's, it's advisable to put the clock in now to see how much space. Especially if you've got long words. So it's 0 on the keyboard. And there's the clock. So it shows you all the spaces you've got left between S and that clock. Now then, the easiest way out of it is to take the clock out of it again. And you press 1. And you'll see the cursor going across like this. All the way across until it jumps. There you are. It's in the next screen. So we've got, with, what you've got to do now is in, then you go to 4 again. There. Press 1 to go forward. And then it's A. So we just put that as a number five, goes down again, forward again, and then we want L. There's L. Press five, we're going to do that. And we go one, which moves it forward again. And you do the same again. So say it's a lot of clicking, especially with this, this one. There's L. And put it as that, as is lowercase. Now what we're going to do, so we'll leave it at that, and we'll put the clock back in, which is there, and then press F8, and it's now saved it. Now what will actually happen where you got call, if you put calling and then you've got all the stations, that part will scroll all the way across. Right. So what we've done, so if I just to come out of this now and go to 80, which is my train and I put in that one there we go that's what it'll do it'll scroll like that I press one there's one, there's crew. Now if I press forward, it does that. Reverse, it does that. Press forward again, goes back to this one. There we are, there's rug, that one there. That does that. Now then, so now we've got it in automatic mode. If we then go back to your controller and put it in as... 56 and put it in as functions now whatever the time is you want to set it to same as that so it's 1348 at the moment 49 if you just then type the numbers it should do it when it goes when the function key operates properly And that's how it works. So that's how it works. So that is as easy as that. But see, this little thing itself is... I'll just shift this thing away to the way now and then. That's
that's how look that's how that's how big it is it's a tiny little thing very delicate so be very careful with it now what i'll actually do is i'll put this back up here again hopefully we can get it to, 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 to. There we are. Right. As I said, I've actually got it uh, into my rail master system. Now, I've got little things in here. So, what's the fact if, if I actually press 4, which is a train approaching one on my screen, this is what will actually happen. The next train is a through service. Please stand clear from the platform edge. That's as easy as that. Now, 5, which is giving me my train. Going out, if I collect that one. The train now standing at platform two is the Cornishman service. Please keep your belongings with you at all times. But as I'm saying, I can operate these through uh, to the, my Railmaster screen now. I've got that one. I've got Manchester. So that is how we can actually work it. Um, they're £50, then the case is another £10, but this is out of this world. It is really, really good, and I'm very pleased that Train Tech have developed this. Uh, David, thank you very much. You are a gent. So, from me, this is from my unit. And from me, a happy Christmas and hope you'll speak to me soon. My phone number is 01782 302194. My email address is there. Please subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye.